unfortunately when it's not an ideal situation this is the reality of dog training and that is uh, sometimes what things are going to look like when we're trying to get to this point um, he is completely completely chilled out right now and all I've done there is pass the initial come on buddy you need to get in this crate there's no ifs or buts about it you have to get in past that point it has been rewards 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 positive 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 so we've we were on our way there we just didn't start there but now we are there and he's just spending quite a lot of time in the crate now so it's day four every single moment that he has spent that isn't with me doing some form of training or you know spending time with my dogs or you know out and about he's been in a crate either in the house or in the van so he is getting lots of crate time so if you guys are struggling with your dog not wanting to go in their crate or not liking it in their crate one of the most uh one of the biggest pieces of advice i can give you is just have them spend more time in there uh, a big reason why dogs don't settle in the crate is because far too much excitement fun attention affection is happening outside of the crate so initially if you're trying to get your dog over that like hump of just settling in the crate you really want to minimize all of the all of that stuff that's happening inside your house inside your living room so the dog stops expecting it and the dog is then able to settle so if your dog's spending a lot of time on your sofa or playing in your living room or you know getting cuddles from you throughout the day or all hours of the day when they're at home if you then go to put them in a crate obviously that's going to be what they're expecting and that's why they're stressing out in the crate so what you have to do is you have to dial back on all of that stuff initially just while you're trying to get them used to the crate once they're used to the crate and once you know they're fine and they settle in it you can bring that stuff back in but if you're struggling with getting them to settle in the crate right now just turn down all of that stuff save all of that stuff for being out on your walks or save it for being out in the garden uh, it's way more beneficial for your dog's long-term development and training if you just hold back off of all the attention and affection and all that stuff that's happening at the moment and just have them focus and you focus on just having them go to sleep and settle in their crate uh, if you are doing that you're not going to have any problems so if your dog's super super bad in the crate and they're barking or biting or you know they're potentially gonna sort of do harm to themselves in the crate you can do certain things like coming in making a noise like clap uh, you know you can clap your hands you can say no quite loudly to the dog if that interrupts them you can go and tap the top of the crate so basically if they are obviously going to hurt themselves in the crate uh, you, you definitely want to be supervising them and if they're getting to that point you want to find a way to interrupt that behavior uh, but yeah that's like very worst case scenario I'm not going to go into too much detail with that uh, that might be a video that I do at some point in the future if I have a dog that is doing that kind of stuff I'll share that with you guys uh, but at this point now this guy he just needed to learn that you know you gotta go in the crate <laughs> that's it and when you start going in the crate you can start getting rewards for it but for as much as you panic and freak out and try to bite me or the lead that's not gonna work you, you have to go in there and now he's doing this so uh yeah just what i wanted to share that with you guys just a little bit of a progress update a little bit of a part two uh just to show you guys that although crate training isn't always pretty uh if we do it in the right way and we know what we're doing it then becomes very pretty uh crates are amazing so yeah if you need any help with crate training and you're struggling at home on your own just reach out to a trainer local to you guys uh, if i'm local to you reach out to me and yeah, I'll see you soon.